Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Movements of Nature. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the chaparral biome. The chaparral biome can be found in mid-latitude coastal regions across several continents. It goes by many names, including chaparral in North America, matoral in Spain and Chile, garrigue and maquis in southern France, and feinbas in South Africa. In the chaparral, precipitation is highly seasonal, with rainy winters and dry summers. The annual precipitation generally ranges from 300 to 500 mm. When it comes to temperature, fall, winter, and spring are cool, with average temperatures between 10 to 12 degrees Celsius. Summer temperatures can soar, with averages reaching 30 degrees Celsius and daytime highs exceeding 40 degrees Celsius. The chaparral is dominated by shrubs and small trees, as well as a variety of grasses and herbs. Plant diversity is high, with many species unique to specific, relatively small geographic areas. To survive droughts, woody plants have tough, evergreen leaves that reduce water loss. Fire adaptations are also common. Some shrubs produce seeds that only germinate after a hot fire, and food reserves in their fire-resistant roots enable them to re-sprout quickly, taking advantage of nutrients released by the fire. Chaparral fauna includes native mammals such as deer and goats, which browse on twigs and buds of woody vegetation, and a diverse array of small mammals. The chaparral also supports many species of amphibians, birds, reptiles, and insects. Lastly, let's consider human impacts on the chaparral biome. These areas have been heavily settled and reduced through agriculture and urbanization. Humans also play a role in the fires that sweep across the chaparral. Let's work together to protect the chaparral and its biodiversity. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on biology and ecology. Please share, like, and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.